Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I am celebrating summer in my faith planner. Today I am working in my faith planner, setting up for the very last week of May, and I pulled out some non-faith based stickers but ones that will work fantastic in my faith planner as well so i've pulled out bloom from wrong wrong i thought i would pull out a couple of these girls from the summer boardwalk uh, collab that wrong wrong did with jojo's pretty paper shop i think there are some gorgeous pieces i can mix in here and then the bullet journal sticker book from wrong wrong is just fantastic. And so I'm definitely going to uh, pull probably a few boxes or we'll see, pull some things from here as well. So let me show you how I can use all of these stickers and my faith planner to set up just a gorgeous spread. I will put you guys on fast forward. I will link everything that I use down in the description box below. Heads up, the link to Wrong Wrong is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more, but it does help me out a lot when you're able to shop those links. All right, let's go. I always want to encourage people when you are working in your faith planner, decorate it with something that brings you joy. For me, this is the first planner that is in my hands every day. I start my day with quiet time and the reason I started decorating my faith planner was because I loved the feeling of opening it up and seeing something beautiful. And whether that is faith-based stickers whether you want to put florals on every single page, there are no rules for what you have to put in your faith planner because it's a faith planner. And I think we get in our heads that there have to be certain things. Um, and that's just not the case. It is your personal journey that you are putting in your faith planner. Um, there are so many things that you might be documenting in your faith planner, whether you are documenting prayers or answers to prayers or writing scripture or taking notes or, um, you know, there's a whole lot of things. Maybe you're taking notes from a sermon. Maybe you're taking notes from a Bible. Maybe you're doing a specific study. Whatever it is, opening it up should elicit a, a wonderful feeling for you. And so that's what I always encourage you. Grab the things that are speaking to you. And for me, I really wanted to celebrate summer. I wanted to open it up in this week and feel excited about this new season of the year that is approaching. And so these florals to me with the butterflies, like just, it spoke summer. I wanted to use the wrong, wrong girls. I think they are so gorgeous. And so I definitely wanted to grab those. I'm using the PET tape, the Bloom PET tape. It is just I love these tapes, you guys. I think they're so great because you just get so many stickers with the tapes. And now I have seen that Rong Rong is having or is releasing some that don't have a shine. So the ones I have have a little bit of a shine to them. I don't mind the shiny stickers. I like kind of the juxtaposition of the shiny stickers versus the matte stickers. However, I if I were picking for PET tapes, I would definitely choose the matte version. And so if you haven't had a chance to pick up some of her tapes, um, definitely check them out now because now she has some that are in a matte version and I think those are going to be really popular. So I'm just using these to kind of create a collage of florals, like this explosion of florals at the top. The planner that I'm using is a plum paper planner in a horizontal layout. Um, I have found that I've really enjoyed taking notes in this layout this year and I think I'm going to continue in the horizontal for a little while longer, certainly through June. I have a few faith planners that start in the month of July, and so I can kind of um, pick and choose what I want to do from here on out. But normally, I don't use this box up here. Normally, I cover it completely with decor, but this week I wanted to try something a little bit different. Like I mentioned before, I do my faith planning, my Bible study, first thing in the morning. And so I get up, Early, I fix coffee, I bring it downstairs, and I sit down with my faith planner and my Bible to start the day. I have found recently that I feel like my prayer time in the morning 
has lost a little focus. I feel like I just don't know what I want to be praying for. And then it comes to me later in the day, which is totally fine because obviously you can pray at any point in the day. But I want to use this box up here to jot down a few notes on what I wanted my prayer focus to be, whether it was a specific prayer request, whether it was a specific scripture that I was praying over. I just wanted to have this box so I would see it every day. It would be a visual reminder. And so I used all of those floral stickers. I cut a lot of them in half to line the inside of the box. And then the reason I love this bullet journal book is because it has so many banners and boxes. And so I just picked a banner that I will later label prayer focus. And so I can just add that in. Um, that way, when I open up this book, again, it's the visual part for me. I'm definitely a visual person. When I open up the book, I'll be able to see that right away. I am also someone that is super inspired by words and phrases, so I always include them in my planner spreads, and my faith planner is no different. It brings me joy to see all kinds of words and phrases. A lot of times I'll use scripture. Sometimes I'll use quotes from different sticker books. This Bloom sticker book has so many great quotes in it, and I love this one. It says, Bloom where you are, and then later on you're going to see me pick another one that says, You were made to bloom, and I think those are just great phrases to see um, and to be in contact with uh, every single day as I dig into into my faith planner. Now, to change it up just a little bit more, this is maybe just a little bit extra, you might say. I'm going to white out all of the days of the week, and I'm going to change up the days of the week stickers. Again, I'm pulling from that bullet journal sticker book. This sticker book definitely just has so many of the basics, and I loved the script writing for the Monday through Sunday, and it just gives just a little bit of extra decoration. For my faith planner, I like to leave as much writing room as possible. Like I want all of the writing room on the page because that's where I take notes. And so I'm just adding a little floral detail from the Bloom sticker book um, along with the day of the week written out in that script. And you see how it is going to then kind of bring the pages together because there's this consistent thing going across. You're seeing the florals kind of find their way across the page and it adds just a little bit something extra to the page without taking up a bunch of room. So the deal is with your faith planner, you don't have to go over the top. It might just be a few stickers. It might be a few florals. It might be a little hint of a washi tape. Maybe you just like to include a wrong, wrong girl on each day or maybe one per week. And that is what brings you joy when you open up your sticker book or open up your faith planner. Um, that's what you should do. There's no right or wrong way to decorate the faith planner. I have my preferences. For instance, I like to have a lot of writing room. I like to focus the decorations in the corners so I can save space. I like to have a few boxes like the one I've picked from the bullet journal book right here to highlight um, some important phrases or an important lesson that maybe I took away on that particular day. You can do what works for A, how you faith plan, and B, what is bringing you joy in that season. All right, so like I said, I like to bring in just a couple boxes to highlight some of the bigger lessons or bigger takeaways that I might be having on that particular week. I'm going to layer these boxes with the florals because why not just include as many florals as possible when you can? I mean, why not? So I'm going to put that one down and then layer the box. So cute. So I can still take notes along the sides, but then highlight maybe a verse or a specific lesson. I'm going to add a few of these tiny little butterflies. Again, I love the tiny elements that are on the PET tapes. Those are super cute. And then why not have another girl for good measure? Because I think they're super cute. So we're going to add another girl and her little Coca-Cola. She's living her best summer life with her Coca-Cola. Um, I imagine she's heading to the pool. That's what I think because why not? So move our little butterfly. How cute is she? Um, I'm going to go through the summer sticker pack. There are a few more stickers in here that I think would go well. I love the Polaroid stickers. I think they're adorable. Little summer memories on a Polaroid. So I'm going to add them right there and then we'll put another Polaroid sticker to fill in a little space over here. And it is coming out so, so, so cute. So the last thing I want to do to kind of bring 
this together. I'm going to label up here prayer focus and then I'm going to add just a little dashed line detail all around the edge of the page to bring in the whole spread all in one and then my faith planner is going to be um, ready for this next week, ready for the start of summer um, and I love, love, love how it turned out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Like I said before, I do have these supplies linked down in the description box below. Heads up, that is an affiliate link for Wrong Wrong. It doesn't cost you any more to shop that link, but it really does help out this channel. So thank you in advance for shopping. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you all so much for all of your support. We're about to have a great time in the month of June. It's all about Planner Camp over in Patreon in June. So make sure to check out that link in the box below. All right. I hope that you all have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.